All right, welcome everybody um, again, Posey Parker. She's here regularly, although I won't say when because there are some crazies around. And I just want to know really what's happening in Crazyville in the last month. Are there any new developments? Have yeah, they changed well, the lingo? Somebody put uh, this up, uh, so I Heart JK Rowling in Canada. That got defaced and then removed after about a day. Uh, and that was a concerned father, uh, and he funded it. So he put that out, so that's been removed. Canada's pretty horrific. Canada's got C16 already. Yeah. It's Yeah, it's pretty much gone. Yeah, it's, basically. It's so weird. You sort of think, like, uh, some people uh, moaned about the, the BLM versus us uh, and those women, but I think they missed the fact that some of those women, whether or not they were willing to listen, they were still willing to talk. Yes. And I, I said on my one of my live streams that I felt those girls were intelligent. They were just two like slight facts away from reality. Yeah. Uh, and so I, th I think I don't think all is lost with those girls uh, or young women. Uh, I'm, I'm quite hopeful, but the, the thing that we have to do is we have to stop it in schools. That's got to be the first priority, yeah. and then you know it, it all stems from there. But these girls in schools being told that they're not kind if they don't allow boys to take over their spaces and their sports and so on—it's just a, a complete sham. It's yeah. just so awful. I think that the education system has been gone for a while now. Yeah. At university, I was told. We all know what happens when enough people don't vote, ha ha, about Brexit. Oh, and by the way, could you post how you voted into this university forum? And I gave them two word answer. Um, the thing is that if, we, like, I know that you're an atheist and this is a Christian channel, but under, um, like, under an education system that's based loosely on Judeo-Christian values, still men and women are taught to be the natural order of things, which they are, and it is backed up by science, unless you get you know, the crazies. Um, yeah, I've seen some pretty wild stories and I've had some brilliant comments from lovely transgender people who are so very inclusive of me and my opinions. It's strange because diverse, they're... Diverse in their thoughts. They're so they? very tolerant toward intolerance, which is always key. And it's always how you can spot them if they haven't got a profile picture or a video identifying them. So I'm just really pleased to see you here again and hopefully you come again because it's quite religious here. Um, it used to be only politics and very polite people, and uh, all of a sudden, it's very yeah. religious. Yeah. Uh, talking of religious, Caroline Farrow is over there. Oh Do you right, know her? Uh, the MP. No. No. Caroline Farrow. Uh, she's married to a man that um, is now a Catholic priest, but I think he was a Church of England. How and can she she's been, been? I don't think Catholic no, priests. Oh, because they were already yeah. married. Oh, and excellent. So she's been interviewed. She's been sort of taken to court for saying uh, men are men. Yeah. Oh no! Yeah. How awful! She, she'd be what a, a hate person. speaker! She'd be a great person for you to talk to. Actually. Yeah. Is she going to come regularly, or is it just? She's a, just there in the woman T-shirt. There's so many people in woman yeah. T-shirt. It's almost as if they're being sold somewhere. I just can't find this, know, do, the outlet. Do, 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 www.standingforwomen.com Go there anyway, just have a look at the agenda that's being pumped into young children's schools. By all means, if a 16-year-old wants to learn about the current affairs and what the narrative is from, you know, the, uh, the society at large. But the thing is, we're incrementally being led towards a, a society where it's hateful to speak the truth. And the, as anyone watching may or may not know, the Bible says that that and so do great philosophers they say the further a society is away from the truth the more they will hate those who speak it and literally identifying somebody by their appendages or lack of them is a tried and tested method and it's been there forever anyway i think you probably have to go I do. so That's we will nice. see you Thank hopefully you. if there's no lockdown by yeah, then i'll be here anyway Parlay, parlor, parlor. Parlor. I don't know parlay yeah. who knows <laughs> the, uh, the better alternative know. to twitter that doesn't promote paedophilia as twitter yeah. does yeah Anyway, nice great to talking you. to you. Cheers. God bless. All right, take care, Posey. Bye. Bye-bye. Okay, so again, um, yeah, I'm not sure what's going on then. Uh, Posey keeps up to date with all of this nonsense, basically. So now, apparently, it's hateful to say, I heart JK Rowling. I mean, there are a lot of, uh, like, uh, ardent Christians who disagree with her literature. I don't happen to be one of them. Um, I think that it's uh, marketed as fiction, and it's obviously fiction. And I think, you know, I very much liked the uh, stories of C.S. Lewis 
when I was growing up and he writes about magic and uh, things like that and we all know what a great theologian he became. So God bless everybody. I should be making some videos soon when I can get the camera back from Ben. And uh, God bless and lots of love. Bye.